What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of Zillia 2 video. Last time we made it to Helioborg and met up with Alvin, uh, Annalise, as well as seeing Ivor again, and he gave us some dual pistols for Ludger, so uh, that was fun. But now we're still on the lookout for Balin, which uh, he's probably going to be right out here, considering this is a save point right here, so uh, let's see if we can find our good pal Balin. Hi, Volt. What the heck is that? It's the Spyrate Volt! I remember that tingly feeling. So they recreated it? But we can't even control it. Ah! Ah! Rollo! Damn, Rollo got hit with lightning. How dare you? You heard a harmless cat. Totally out of control. We have to stop it. Alvin, act the lightning rod. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> hey, watch hey, out. Focus. Link charge. Keep it up. Oh, Elise is dead. That could be a problem. Well, at least they did it. I was trying to link attack. Controlled? Please cheer up. We know you got this. Yeah, Tipo volunteers to be your guinea pig. What? Thanks, everyone. Yeah, but what about Rolo? <laughs> Guess. I'll keep getting. Spreading contamination? Control Thunderstorms are scary, too. The air gets all tingly and weird, right? Yeah. But how in the world did they gather the resources to recreate the Spyrite Vault? Balin would know. Let's head back to the roof. I don't think he's going to know. So what the hell's going on here, Doc? I don't know. Something is def definitely not right. This is really weird. Does anyone know what just happened? Hard to tell. Coming here sure brings back memories from a year ago, huh? Yeah. All sorts of memories. Can't say I remember that part of our journey too fondly. You know what it means when you reminisce too much. 
They say it's the first sign you're getting old. What? Where did you hear that? I can't divulge my sources. The past is past. Now is now! Get over it and move on! Remember when Elise used to be so reserved? They always say that girls mature faster, but... Yeesh. Like their daughter, all grown up. Uh, so... Obviously same layout, just, uh... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Push! Heave ho! Alright, hippity hop. And what do we got in here? Oh, look, soda rice. Perfect. Uh, I'll save that for when I need it. Ah, uh, that's right. There's no elevator on the first floor, so... How are we on items, by the way? Uh... Oh, right. I can hold up to 30 now, because New Game Plus. Um... That should be good enough. We will, of course, go through all the floors because uh, technically it's all reset. Might be new treasure chests lying around. If it isn't obvious at this point, because uh, it might not be, you know, I mean, but well, whatever. I'll explain anyway. Um, because I remember the first time I played Zilly 2, I had no idea what was going on between, like, you know, when we're in those realms that's, like, stuff is slightly different. Uh, that's obviously, you know, part of the story that hasn't been explained yet, but, uh, you know, alternate reality nonsense clearly going on. I'm trying to say not too much, because if it is your first time, don't want to spoil too much, but I'm sure there are some people who get confused by what's been happening with, like, you know, the realms we be in with, like, everything looking the same, for the most part, but things being slightly different. Like how we just ran into Volt. As time goes on, it'll make more sense. Alright. Let's pull this out real quick. What do we got? Leather boots. Oh yeah, it's right for him. You have to like upgrade all his weapons over time. So we'll definitely have to work on that. Now we have a staircase. Interesting that in the normal world where we are right now, there aren't any enemies on these floors. I guess since technically we already did all our fighting. Oh, leave me alone. You have your wallet surrounded. Give up the gold and nobody gets hurt. Oh wait, really? After a certain point here, you can have a thousand. No wasting money, Luger. Cash goes into the bank. Fish go into the tank. There, you can have a little bit of money. Not gonna give you a ton because I don't want it. It's my money. What, if I open it again? Okay. Yeah, after a certain point, they make you at least pay a little bit. Got it. Alright, same point again. Oh, but the room is different this time. Guess we'll just go out the door and see. Nobody's out here. All clear, Balin. Come on out. Impressive, Alfred. How did you know where I was? Your hiding spots haven't changed since we were kids. 
He used to hide up here in the factory. We never even considered recreating Volt, much less tried to actually pull it off. Honestly, we're still having trouble controlling spy rights at all. We'd be insane to try tackling a great spirit. Hmm. The tingly guy really was here, right? Yeah. What the hell was it then? Never mind that. Tell us about Julius. Julius, huh? What are you, a cop or something? No, Luger is Julius's little brother. I never knew the guy had a brother, big or little. Well, <laughs> now that you mention it, he does kind of put off that big brother vibe. So, what can you tell us about this Julius guy? I don't know. He really loves tomatoes? Balin. Sorry. Look, I haven't seen the guy in six months. I was shocked as anyone when I heard about the train hijacking. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Like to Canaan, maybe? Canaan, huh? I think he mentioned the place, actually. But I don't remember the details or anything. It is a sacred <laughs> land where souls go to be purified and reincarnated. Musei? I'm Musei. Jude. What is that? The spirit Musei. She's Mila's big sis. Hmm? What are you doing in our realm? Mila's vanished. Wait, what? Something was amiss with the soul purification process. Or so she said, but I lost contact with her after she used my power to exit the spirit realm. So she's here in the human realm? Indeed, she should be, but I guess you haven't seen her. <laughs> nope, I'd say not. Surely, she would have sought you out if she could. I hope she's all right. I must find her. That was Muse, wasn't it? What happened? And Miss Elise is here too. It would seem that we're all back together. Well, give or take. Mila's gone missing? But how? Hmm. This could be a problem. Phone call! Vera from Spirius Corporation here. A witness has spotted former director Kresnik. He's at Alati. <laughs> Alati Seahaven, Arize Maxiaport. Other pursuit agents are on their way to the scene. You must hurry. Still got bills to pay, huh? <sighs> Please let me come with you. This is no field trip we're going on, Princess. Shouldn't you stay in school? If Musee's here in the human realm, the danger level must be off the charts! I want to do whatever I can to help, that's all. Count me in too. Well, you know, whenever I'm not swamped with work. There's so many of us now. At least Rolo's okay. Alright, that's the end of Chapter 5. That was pretty quick. I'm sure we're going to be in another money-making so phase Exodus now. Is already gone? What was the point of causing all this trouble? I guess causing trouble was the point. That's terrorists for you. So now we have to pay back more money, huh? Yep. That handkerchief you gave me earlier had a really weird smell. It's not weird, it's cologne. An essential part of a gentleman's faux casual grooming routine. Sure. I don't I don't really use cologne myself, so I, I can't say. <laughs> okay, you're what? Creeping me out. Do you have a question about Tipo? Um what is he? Tipo is Tipo, a lovable friend to all. That's a lie. There aren't any animals that look like you, and if there were, they still couldn't talk. Tipo is actually a mana amplifying device known as a booster. It's because of Tipo that Elise is able to cast such powerful spirit arts. He makes her stronger than even a normal adult. So you guys are running a scam. A uh, scam? What? You want to be a grown-up, right? Like, real bad? So you have Tipo help you cheat at spirit stuff. Don't worry, though. I won't tell anyone. Thanks? You shouldn't snitch on her either, okay, Jude? Uh, right. It's pretty big of me to cover for you like this, huh? You can thank me later. 
Now who's pulling a scam? <laughs> well, we have the money to pay off the debt, so. Oh, a payment, right? Thanks for calling. Oh, well, I guess kind of. Let's actually wait. Um. Oh, I still can't fast travel, huh? And I don't think you can take, like, a train from here, either. Yeah, I guess we got to, uh, walk back. Yeah, let's run back to town. And then, uh... Gonna avoid these battles, though. Run back to town, see if there's another giant boss for us to kill, and if not, I'll just pay this off now and see where we can go next. Actually, you know what? It really doesn't matter. We can do it now. Come in, Luger. Uh, one, five. Gotten into the swing of this loan thing yet? I mean, no one wants to get used to it. But what can you do? With the latest and greatest, you are now free to travel as far as Alati Sea Haven. You keep making those payments, and we keep unlocking sea havens. Go forth, hardy men folk, and conquer the sea. She talks like I'm not even here. I guess that's kind of sexist, isn't it? You go forth too, hardy woman folk, and conquer the sea as well. Oh, I've never been to sea before. Seriously, you gotta check it out. The sea is awesome. It's so big, and large, and grand! Several ways to say something is big. Luger, let's go conquer the sea! <sighs> yeah, sure. Let's do that. Oh, Jude learned an art. What did we learn today? Swallow dance. Cool. Um... That's fine. I guess we can put something down here as well. Let's put steel there. Hop on a ship from Marksburg to Alati Sea Haven. So we have to get to Marksburg. Got it. Well, we're going to Rize Maxi at least, so that's cool. Sure, let's do a fight. Why not? That's my girl. Super easy. Easy. Now I have this. So, I may just be forgetting things. Uh, which, if that's the case, that's fine. But, isn't... Isn't technically... Olympias above Rize Maxia, like they're two separate worlds. So how could you just hop on a boat? I guess is my question. Like I said, I could very well be forgetting things because we did go from the end of Zillia to Arise for a bit. But, uh... Unless when, you know, the schism got dealt with, you know, they all just became technically one world. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be events for, uh, characters. Yeah, and then you got you gotta edit your party while you're in town. So... If you decide to go out and do stuff. When it's not main story stuff... You know, you can decide to not have Lugger in the party if you really want to. Um. Really don't need four main... You know what? Jude's always kind of in the party, so let's take Jude out for a little bit. Let's have Rowan, because we don't need two healers. But yeah, there will be, like, sub-events in town and stuff like that for us to do. 
So you'll see these little exclamation points, which of course we'll do them when we have the opportunity. Ooh, skip. It's interesting taking a step back and looking at everyone. I can see some things have changed and some haven't. Speaking of changes, I see you've grown a beard. Ah, you noticed that, did you? Not bad, eh? Uh, sure. I'll be nice yeah, to Alvin. That's nice. Right? Excuse me? Your beard has nothing on mine, young man. I wonder if I'll ever be able to grow a beard. Ha! <laughs> Respect for the beard's majesty at your tender age? You've got good taste. So, what inspired you to grow a beard, Alvin? Well, there were a number of factors. But for the most part, I thought it was time to start trying new things. Like what? Like anything. You only live once, right? And you gotta do the things you want while you can. Hmm. That's a more juvenile reason than I was expecting. It would have been more fun if you decided to wear a disguise or something. <sighs> what exactly is it gonna take to satisfy these two? <laughs> Everything, apparently. Uh-oh, here we go. It's fun taking a step back and looking at everyone. Some things have changed, and some haven't. You just said that. You've certainly had a big change, Elise. You're going to school now, right? Do you like it? I do, and I really like the uniform. Uniforms? School? Your uniform's really cute, but I've always been more the pants type myself. They're so much easier to move in than skirts. So what side are you on, Luger? Team pants or team skirts? Uh... You know what? For the sake of safety, let's go with pants. <laughs> pants all the way. I know, right? It's all about mobility. But but aren't skirts cuter? Yeah, but then you have air blowing through your legs. Oh, L, you're still such a child. That's the best part. Whoa, that's a bold assertion. I gotta find my notepad. Wait, that was off the record. The paparazzi are everywhere. <laughs> right then. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Okay, there is an elite monster. Uh, where are you? Oh, it's at Spirit, so we have to climb back up there. Uh, I think we will handle this. Uh, 24,000 gold is pretty nice as well. But, uh, I'm not gonna rush into that just yet. Let's see what some of these sub-stories are about. Let's talk to Jude real quick. Dude, chat. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Like, all the characters have, like, s sub stuff. Did you used to play in this park when you were a kid, Luger? Sure. I used to come here with Julius all the time. Oh, right. Must have been nice. I was an only child. Maybe I should have gone with the other line. Yes? Dr. Mathis, it's Mary. Those pushy people are skulking around the lab again. The one guy says he has a valuable spirit fossil. He's insisting that you trade him your device for it. What? Did he say anything else? Only that it's from one of the great spirits. Apparently he got it through connections. I'd have Director Balin deal with it, but he's at an investor's meeting right now. With just us here, we don't know what to do. Stonewall him, Mary. You're in Helioborg now? I am. I'll be right there. Don't agree to anything he says, okay? And tell everyone else to do the same. She sure talks loud. Sorry, guess you heard her. I have to go take care of that. That was one of the other spyrite researchers in Helioborg. She seemed a little worked up. Yeah, I'm why not? Too. I'd like to help if I can. Are, are you sure? I'm going too. Thanks. In that case, let's get to Helioborg. So we're running all the way back out there again. Yep, you'll have necessary party members, but then the rest you can kind of do whatever you want. It's like right here, I can just put whoever. Let's bring... Let's bring Elise. And then, uh... Yeah, Alvin's fine, I guess. Well... No, let's bring Rowan. So we have two casters, two melee. All right, let's go. 
So, yeah, we want to go back to the Tolbron uh, high road. I'm sure eventually we'll have access to the actual uh, map and stuff. It's funny because it still has my time from like my previous playthrough, so it's just going to add to the hours. Uh, is there anything we can... No, we're going to have to go to further towns for that. All right, let's, uh, let's get moving. Is everyone all geared up? Yep. Excuse you, Mr. Beast. I don't have time for you. I guess technically it's his chapter, so may as well use him. Maybe I'll do that for everyone's sub-story. I'll play as whoever's sub-story it is. Still chasing me. Can't let him run into me. Yeah, and then we're down here. Perfect! Sure, give me a fight. How was that? We rock. It's actually perfect. Uh Oh wait, no, it said Spirius Corp, didn't it, for the elite monster info? Um, I was pretty sure it said Spurious Corp, so at the wrong place anyway. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, we can deal with the elite monster while we're here. Do they have the job guy here? I don't think so. The Spyrite Research Lab is on the 13th floor of the main building. All right, let's go. So we'll have to find that elevator. Although there shouldn't really be any enemies around here. Uh, which building? Okay, it's over there. can at least start to make our way up there. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Come on, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. It's win-win. I don't see why you even need to bother Dr. Mathis with this. But look, for the last time, our answer is no. You sure about that? I've heard a few things about this lab, you know. Your research is dead in the water without this, am I wrong? Let's hurry onward. Dr. Mathis! I'm Jude Mathis. Sorry to keep you waiting. How might I help you today? Ah, Dr. Mathis. Just the man I wanted to see. I've got an offer you can't refuse. It's about that device of yours. I already told you. It's still undergoing clinical trials. We're not ready to accept any offers. But I hear you've achieved a success rate close to 80% with lesser spirit class spyrites. That's good enough for practical use. Sign an exclusive distribution deal with us and you'll find yourselves on Easy Street. We'll decide when the device is good enough. A 20% failure rate just doesn't cut it. Is that so? 
You're certainly cavalier about your lack of progress. I know how much money has been sunk into this project. Investors aren't exactly the patient type. <laughs> of course, I didn't come to a contract negotiation empty-handed. That's a great spirit, Fossil. Something like that might come in handy for your research. A great spirit? Celsius, perhaps? Yep, the genuine article. Wielded by the leader of Exodus himself. Celsius's fossil sank to the bottom of the sea a year ago, in the ruins of the ESS Zenithra. The Rizamaxian government conducted the salvage operation of the Zenithra. I believe that makes this fossil the property of Rizamaxia. How'd you end up with it? Uh. <laughs> you certainly know your stuff, Dr. Mathis. Perhaps it's time for you to leave. I know when I've worn out my welcome. I'll bid farewell for today. But I hope you'll give my proposal some thought. For the sake of your research. Don't forget that. Consider it a gift. Although you didn't get it from me, of course. Catch my drift? Uh-huh. Is everything okay? I'm fine, thanks. I'm sorry you had to deal with that guy. Oh no, I'm totally okay. Thank you so much for coming, Dr. Mathis. Thanks to all of you. Mary, would you put this in safekeeping for me? I don't know if it really is what he claims, but why take any chances? Of course. I'll inform Dr. Balin as well. Thanks, Mary. Let's go. And now we just leave. <laughs> That's it. But, uh... Oh, you know what? Let's leave. Let's finish this off before we uh, end things. Uh, so, yeah. We gotta leave. Back to the first floor. Sorry for getting you mixed up in this. This Go sort of this. thing happened to you a lot? They're getting less subtle with each attempt. We need to figure out how to deal with these guys. I get where they're coming from, but we just need more data before we can begin full-scale implementation. If we could begin testing it with great spirits. No, forget I said that. We can't rush into things unprepared. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Given the position that I'm in, I need to stay strong and be focused. Any lack of confidence on my part will shake the faith of the people who believe in the project. And the folks funding it. You sure have it rough. I don't like it one bit, you know that? Thanks for your concern, everyone. And don't worry, I'll be okay. This is just something I have to figure out on my own. Thanks for coming along, Luger. It felt good to have some backup. I don't think we really did anything. That's worrisome. And that's the end of Jude's chapter one. There you go. Your Olympian trains certainly are impressive. Before, I could barely tell one train apart from another. But now I've really come to appreciate the majesty of their designs. It's funny because he's got the same design as the guy we were just talking to. This guy too. And this guy. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it. So next time we will, uh, we're actually going to head back, uh, to town because there wasn't our sub story there. So whoever sub story that is next, we'll handle that next time. And then probably after that, we'll head to Halati Sea Haven to chase after Julius. But that's going to be it guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time.
Have a wonderful day, everyone.